Foldables are no longer just for smartphones. Huawei just brought the concept to laptops with the MateBook Fold, and it's one of the boldest moves in portable computing yet. But is it just a gimmick, or does it actually work? Let's dive in. In the box, you get the MateBook Fold itself, a powerful USB-C charger, USB-C to headphone adapter, and a sleek magnetic keyboard cover. Right away, the design screams premium. Huawei's minimalistic design language is here. Clean lines, matte finish, and that super satisfying hinge. When folded, it's about the size of a hardcover book. Lightweight, but solid in hand. The multi-gear hinge system feels durable, and Huawei claims it's rated for over 70,000 folds. Ports are minimal, two USB-C ports and a fingerprint reader integrated into the power button. You'll need adapters if you're into legacy connections. The 14.2-inch flexible OLED display is the real star. You get 2880 by 1920 resolution, P3 color gamut, and 120 hertz refresh rate. Perfect for creatives and multitaskers. Fold it halfway for reading or video calls, fully open for full workspace. Yes. There's a slight crease, but it disappears in daily use, just like on foldable phones. Inside, you're getting the latest Intel Core Ultra Series processor, up to 16 gigabytes RAM and one terabyte SSD. It's running Windows 11 with Huawei's custom foldable tweaks. Performance, solid. It's not a gaming machine, but it absolutely handles productivity, video editing, and multitasking without breaking a sweat. Huawei's added foldable-specific UI enhancements, including smart app scaling, multi-window support, and gesture controls. Still, Windows 11 isn't fully optimized for foldables. Some apps don't behave perfectly when transitioning from folded to full mode. You get a 75-watt-hour battery, which translates to 8 to 10 hours depending on usage. Charging is super fast thanks to 65 watt supercharge. The speakers are surprisingly loud and clear. Not MacBook level, but very good. Webcam, 1080p and sharp. Decent for video calls with built-in AI noise reduction. So should you buy the Huawei MateBook Fold? If you're a tech enthusiast, a creative professional, or just someone who wants to be ahead of the curve, this is one of the most exciting laptops you can try in 2025, but for average users, it might still feel experimental. It's expensive, not widely available yet, and some apps still struggle with the foldable UI. What do you think? Is this the start of a new era in laptops or just a phase? Let us know in the comments below. Check our channel for more innovation videos, and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an update when new videos go live.